All right, um, I've been very busy with the training recently, so I haven't been able to make too many top core videos. But anyway, today I thought I'd make a quick video about is Remco in big trouble due to Alaphilippe uh, crashing today and breaking his collarbone. Now, first of all, we've got to look at his teammates. So he's got a decent team. I'm just reading out now. Alaphilippe, Cavagna, Dries Devenines, Remco, Masnada, Pateseri, Ilian Van Wilder, and Louis Vavarka. Now, we'll go through sort of each one you know, here and there, but Alaphilippe obviously gone, Peter Seri gone, so they don't actually have many riders left, which is not great. Now, on the flat, Remy Cavagna can do a lot, Dries Devenines as well, decent like, on the flat, but that's about it really, um, not top. Now we've got Louis Vavarka, who apparently, according to Campanets, is the best climber in Belgium, uh, but we're yet to see that. I haven't really seen him do too much work. He can be good, I rate him highly, but hasn't looked unreal. Ilian Van Wilder, or Ilan Van Wilder, very, very strong man. However, again, in this welter, has he really sorted Remco out? Not really. Um, he is a clone of Remco, literally. Like, without the red jersey, they are very difficult to tell apart. Um, and Masnada can be good. I mean, he's, I'm pretty sure he's almost top 10 of Giro before. But he does not look good this this uh, this um this welts at all. So, in conclusion, yeah, sorry, he got ninth in the Giro in 2020, GC. Like, he is, he should be good. So, the question is, though, is it enough for Remco? And I'd say with Alaphilippe gone, he's in real trouble. Like, he's in big, big trouble. Because on the mountains, I guess the only advantage is he doesn't have to attack. But he's not going to have that many people who can stay with him. Like, if Ineos launch it, obviously Sivakov's gone, so some of their tactics are a bit gone. What are they going to do? Um, I mean, Yumba are in the same boat with lo losing Kuss. They also don't have anyone on the mountains to, like, launch it. Um, I mean, Bora have a million people, but they're all at, like, 9,000 minutes down on GC. But I don't think it's looking good for Remco. Um, I still think he's the strongest rider in the race, for sure. But without some of the teammates to help, it's not going to be that good for him. Um, I think it definitely could, could be an issue for the man. Uh, I don't think it's game-changing, necessarily. I think he'll still probably win it. But... He's just more likely for long-range attacks. Hopefully, Movistar tries something uh, with Enric Mass. But, um, yeah, we yet to see. But, anyway, that's sort of my quick reactions on Alaphilippe. Uh, not great. Uh, we could also talk about Yates going. Very sad. He's had a rough couple of year, a couple of year. Like, no GC results in Grand Tours for him. Again, not great. I mean, he would have T10-ed this, and he probably would have won the Giro, to be honest. He was going to bar everyone. I was convinced. That TT, he would have rinsed people like uh, Jai Hindley. Um, and then I reckon all the climbs, he would have done pretty well as well. So that was a shame. And it's also a shame that he's gone here. Um, sorry, just trying to have a look at everyone else. Um, and then, you know, there's not how many GC guys we got. Like Gagan Hart and Carlos Rodriguez are still there for Ineos. Higita, Hindley, Kelderman all gone. Roglic, like he'll do what he does. But again, teammates. Unless Dennis can pull something out of the bag, it's going to be tough. Ben O'Connor, he looks okay. And like... Astana have Miguel Angel Lopez. He'll probably win the Sierra Nevada stage, but what else will he do? He's got a strong team with Lutschenko and Nibli, so so maybe they can do some stuff. But again, I'm not I'm not overly excited about the world um, in the next coming weeks. I think a lot. It's a shame that Ron has hit so many people. It's a shame uh, Alaphilippe crashed today. It's, it's not been um, the best Grand Tour in my opinion. You know, not necessarily because of the parkour or anything, but more just because of like. There aren't many people, um, there are a lot, a lot less people competing for the GC than, uh, than could do. Um, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.